spot a good business opportunity? Uh, there's, there is a sense to, you know, just the energy that's happening. But usually it is researched, you know. You, you, you spot it because, first of all, you have a plan, and then does this opportunity fit your plan? Does it have all the requirements or, or all the important points that you deem is important in developing that, that business? And then you sort of mash the things together. Uh, but it always is an understanding that you got to work at it and develop it. And actually, that is part of the fun. So th that leads me to my second question. How do you build a business and a brand? Uh, a brand, a business and a brand. Well, you begin with, of course, an idea, a concept, and there has to be a need out there. There has to be uh, a want from the customer for what you're offering. Uh, but uh, a long relationship and uh, building a brand is about building trust and delivering what you promise and delivering uh, a, a good deal with your customer. It's, it's, a, it's a give and take. Both sides have to win by it, whether it's by the experience, by the quality of the product, by the price, and so on. And, and, uh, and on the other side, as a business person, your business needs to thrive to continue to grow. It's opportunities that come a long way and that you see a need out there for people across uh, America that maybe won't have an opportunity to come to my stores or to, to my restaurants. Uh -huh. But if they go in their local stores, they'll find Lydia on a shelf. And it's a way of connecting. But the important thing is that I that trust that they have in me and the, the, the product that they expect I deliver. Right. So, you know, my sauce is one of the best always and, and so yeah. it's great. Um, of course, you know, with, with, with the, the, the fish, the vegetables, uh, the bread, uh, we, 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 we bake 3,000 loaves of bread a day. And of course, the fresh, the fresh pasta is a big seller. We make the fresh pasta to sell in our restaurants here, but also, I mean, two, 300 pounds of pasta a day is sold very easily. So, um you know, businesses have ups and downs. So what if, uh, if there's a misstep? How do you deal with missteps? Or what's the best way to deal with uh, maybe bad press or the scandal or anything like that? Well, you know, you have to have always your antennas out and uh, feeling what is the customer feeling about your business? Is it growing? Is it enthusiastic? Is it positive? And there's always some little uh, kind of uh, uh, Negat negative uh, elements that enter into a business, whether it is uh, a press element, whether it is a disgruntled customer or whatever. And you have to really look for those. Uh, of course, now the social media is, is, uh, is so uh, sort of spread out that you can really put your, your tentacles out there. Mm -hmm. But you have to sort it out, uh, analyze it, and address it immediately. Uh, and uh, you know, I think one of the one of the worst thing is to defend yourself in cases like that. It says, "Oh, that's not me. I didn't do it." Especially if you're in business, take the time to see was is that valid? Is that a reality in the business? And chances are, the part of it at least is, and address it immediately. And in addressing it, of course, you use yourself, but you use people around you. You use experts. You know, whether it's uh, for the press. Uh, you use consultants, uh, the financial, you use consultants to get you to the right place. I attended the fancy food show this week, and Italy has so the biggest I. presence, <laughs> you know, 30,000 square feet. So my question is, why is Italy the biggest? And, and so I'll start with that, and, uh, and then I want to talk about producers, how they're really organized, obviously, and delivering. Well. Uh, Italy is, if you're talking about Italy in America, Italy is the number one uh, ethnic food loved by Americans. So there's a great potential of growth, and of course, the producers don't miss that opportunity. But just Italian food is wonderful, it's delicious. I think uh, the traditional Italian food is built with a history, a culture behind it. And not only does it bring uh, a good flavor, or a good, it it's, it's brings good nourishment, and it brings part of, of a story of a people.